Hello, this is Charlie Zorro, and welcome to Episode 7 in the Adventures of Kalia Underfoot. In the last episode, we found the poles that Anklus was requesting, and we are now in the process of taking on, or getting ready to take on, some trolls in Thundergroat. So, let's take a look. Let's see. Looks like this is the way down. So we'll take on these guards. And as I mentioned in the last episode, I'm looking very forward to seeing how Kalia does against the trolls. Oh, I hate it when they run away. This is when you want an archer. Haha. <laughs> All right, let's take on this guy. Step back just a little. Right, let's run over here so you can see it better. Come here, you. I really enjoy the little sayings that the goblins have, such as, do as I ask or it's into the pit with you. Uh-huh. Well, let's just hitch it. Well, not very honorable, I guess, hitting him from the back, but it's a goblin. He doesn't deserve any better. Now the trolls are all the way down to the in the bottom. In the bottom level. So we just have to kind of make our way down there. Which won't be too bad. go. One down, one to go. Hop up here. Let's see. There we go. Die, little goblin guards. Die. And there's our first troll. Let's make sure it counts. Yes, it does. Let's get his attention. Oh, this shouldn't be too bad. It's only 5,500 hit points. So they have lowered the hit points for the trolls. However, that doesn't mean they're not tough. Oh, and if you hear some rumbling, um, there's a thunderstorm going on outside, so I, uh, I guess I really shouldn't be taping this during a storm, but we are on, I do have it on surge protectors and such, and to be honest, I really wanted to see how Kalia handles this. Oh, man. Well, so far she's not handling it real well. Of course, it doesn't help that there's two other goblins on her. Oh man, that sucked. Oh man, I wish she can sneak back up here. Oh no, they're on her way down. Oh man, this is not going to be good. This is not going to be good. Because here they come behind her. Oh yeah, this is going to be bad. Well, let's concentrate on the troll and see if we can at least get him. Yeah, she's going to be defeated. I don't, I don't think we can keep it. Yeah, he keeps knocking her away. 
yeah, we're going to be defeated. I, I don't think there's any way she can survive this. And I think I'm uh, about out of my potions. Come on, at least get this one guy. Come on, come on. At least get him. That nightback is a bitch. Here we go, let's see if we can just keep her going. Alright, we got the troll. And we got the guard. I did not think we were going to survive that. Wow. That was really something. Hey, Spidey! My little Spidey cat just came up. He's laying next to me, wanting to know what the heck's going on, what I'm talking about. Wow. Okay. Now, one thing that I kind of mentioned in the last video, this is where you can get the Troll Hedge housing trophy. And the way you get it is just defeating the trolls. When you get one, it'll show it to you in your communication log, but you can also click on your wallet, and under Taxidermy, you'll see Goblin Troll Head, or not Goblin Troll Head, Troll Head. Uh, right now, the only thing that Clea has is a giant goldfish, which doesn't come close. But um, but this is where you get it, and it, it's kind of random. I've I've been down through here and gotten it within five trolls, and then I've also it's taken like twenty. And I came down here with a fellowship one time, and the, one of the fellowship members never did get one. And we were down here for a good hour, just beating the heck out of trolls, and he never did get one, so we ended up giving him one of ours, so... It was, it was kind of weird, because um, one of the players got multiple troll heads, and then the other one didn't get any, and it was kind of like, well, that's kind of weird. But, uh, it's just part of the game. Looks like she can do okay as long as she can keep it just on one. If she's holding her own against this troll. I think it probably we ran into before is that like six goblins bounced her. So between the goblins and the trolls, and of course it didn't help that the troll knocked her down three flights of stairs. Clear, you can take him. Got him. All right, so that's the second one. Let's sneak around the corner here. Can we take out the troll and not attract the goblin? Nope. Well, it was an idea. Oh, I hate it when they step on my little hobbits. It is so rude. Come on. You can do it. I am really happy now that I bought those extra universal power potions. She's going to need them. Well, 
Well, if she doesn't get knocked back into something, she may be able to take this guy out. Assuming he quits stepping on her. Fight, little Clea, you can take him out. This guy is like really tough. About time. Okay. This time we're going to take a Dale Cram so we can recover during combat. And let's see where our next troll is. I wonder if there was one behind us. Now there's one way back there. I wonder if we can... Oh, I wonder what that glowy object is. Let's take out these two goblins and find out. Usually when something's glowing it's important. my thought. Hurry up and die. I don't know what the glowy object is. Alright. Let's see what this is. Refuge pile. A polished button. Really? I got a polished button and I had to take those two guys on to get it? Doesn't really seem like it was worth it. Alright. It looks like it's just a troll by himself. So let's run up here and see what we can do. No, no, no. Ha! I can recover this time. But you know, in all honesty, it really should be kind of tough to take out a troll. So I really can't fault this at all, and it's still solvable, it's just tough, which is cool. Nothing worse than just being able to walk through it without any problems. At least this is some, some type of challenge. Don't knock her back. Actually, let's do it this way. If there's a knockback, she'll knock back into a wall and not another troll. Or worse yet, a bunch of goblins. There we go. Four of six. Let's see what's been. Oh, that does not look good. We are not going to take out that troll. And let's see if there's another one up here. Oh man! Walk right into him. Wish they quit running away. Oh, 
Well, at least it can't run any further. Let's get out of the corner. Sounds like he's saying meow. Oh, there's a troll down there. How about the direction we're headed? There's another one with a glowing green guy. Let's see if we can sneak past those goblins. Oh, and another glowing green guy. Let's just try to avoid all of this. Let's see here, there's the troll, the lasher, oh good, I think we can handle this, I think actually this may have been, yep, I think we did this before. Actually, I'm switching opponents over to the goblin. Let's see if I can take the goblin out. Of course, having a troll pounding on me is making it where it's certainly hard for her to take out the goblin. So I'm not sure which is the best one to try to take out first. Alright, now we can concentrate on the troll. Let him come to me. Darn, I hate it when I click on the wrong skill. Although I do think we've got this guy. if he'll quit knocking us back into things. Got him. Okay, so we need one more drummer. And I'm thinking that's our target. Yep, there's no, no uh, goblin around him. So we're gonna sit here and wait. Let's take another snack. kind of recover a little bit before we continue on. Kind of look around, make sure nobody else is going to be... Alright, there's the way out, so all we have to do is take him on and then take those guys on. Oh, and we're fully healed, so let's go ahead and take on the troll. Okay, I can re should be able to recover from that stun. Kind of interesting seeing this little hobbit take on a big troll. Yeah, 
and we got him. Okay. So that's our six of six trolls. Let's look real, real, real quick to see. And there we go. Undamaged troll, cave troll head. So she did get a trophy. So if you want to pause the video, you, I'm doing this in high depth, so you should be able to read that. And it says, luckily this head remains nearly unscathed, despite the ravages of battle and might, and might made a fine trophy. Might make a fine trophy. Cool, so she has a, a troll head for her house. Now we just have to get out of here. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Yep, looks like we just need to go back to the, uh, the slave pens. So we'll just look at getting out of here. Here we go, nice and easy. So I'll go back up the stairs. Take these guards out. Oh, it's only one. After all those trolls, this should be real easy. Turn the tables and take him out. Okay, looks like we're going to have to take on... Yep, didn't think we could get past that guard. But, after the trolls, it's not a challenge. Let's see, those guys... What? Oh, this is the first troll that took us out. Alright. Well, let's see if we can just take out this guard. We may be able to sneak past the troll. We're gonna have to take on that other guard. That's okay. I'm actually more concerned about the troll. Because that's the troll that knocked us down the flight of stairs last time. And really like to not have that happen again. So let's see if we can just stay on this side. Yes, we can! Excellent. Okay, let's just take out these guards. Yep, I'll just have to remember the next time I come into Goblin Town to make sure that I leave that first troll alone. He has way too much backup. Okay. Are we getting close? Yep, we should be. Alright, let's take these guys. Ha! Ah, there's nowhere for you to run this time. What was that? Oh, it must be the troll that's beneath us. We should be nearing the door, I would hope.
I love it. We're taking out the guard and his buddy is just standing there watching. Hey, wake up. All right, and here's the door. Now, if memory serves... Yep, there they are. Let's head back up there. Yep, wrong button. God, I hate that. Okay, good. We'll continue on. All right, since we're nearing the uh, the 30 minute mark, and since I have a bad feeling I'm going to get lost getting back to the sleigh pins, I'm going to pause the video and we will pick it back up when we get to the sleigh pins. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And we're in the slave pens, and I am very happy that I paused the video because this has taken us a good 30 minutes just to get back here. I think the clear ran into every uh, runner that's in Goblin Town, um, and certainly ran into every jailer on our way back in, so it, it took a while. But we did arrive, so we are here, so we're going to take out these jailers and, uh, and try to complete these... Uh, these couple of quests. So let's go over to the captured goblin first, take out his jailer. Okay. Drummers in the deep. Ha! The sniveling worm. Krushtar is probably fuming about the loss of his trolls. You've done well, Hobbit. All right, let's see here. We have gauntlets that are not as good as her current ones. And a necklace that doesn't really... Well, gives her more morale, but she loses some of her might. All things considered, I think she'll take the necklace. Okay. Well, looks like that's it for him for right now. So let's go over here to Aglas. Take out his guards. Alright, let's go talk to him. How can I be of service? Stirring up trouble. This will do just fine. Give me a moment. Alright, let's see what he's planning on doing. Lend me your ear. Plan in motion. We are ready to put this plan in motion. If we are successful, then the orcs and goblins will fall upon one another, perhaps destroying any chance of Angmar to bring Goblin Town under their control. Take this sack and place the items 
within a firm bit of earth. Make certain that the stake is standing freely. We need to make certain that the orcs will see it. Return to me when you have done what I have asked. All right, and let's see what... Uh, all right, we'll go ahead and accept that. And this is where we're going to stop for the day. All right. So, when we pick up next time, we'll go ahead and find a place to put the pike and see what happens between the orcs and the goblins. Well, I've certainly enjoyed uh, presenting you with this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like and subscribe if you've not already done so. And until next time, safe journeys and take care.